The night moves. The crowd freezes. A noble whispers. Is it possessed? The steel figure raises its arm, shifts its weight, and slowly turns its head toward the audience. Then, its visor lifts. But inside, nothing. No man, no puppeteer, nothing but gears, pulleys, and genius. This is not sorcery. This is Leonardo da Vinci, 500 years ahead of his time. Leonardo doesn't just paint masterpieces. He builds machines, obsessed with bringing the impossible to life. His notebooks are filled with thousands of pages of sketches and hide an idea no one else can even imagine, a fully functional mechanical humanoid. This knight of Leonardo's moves on its own, using a system of gears, pulleys, and counterweights. Inside, he's designed a complex arrangement of mechanical joints that mimic human motion, allowing the knight to sit, wave its arms, and even move its head from side to side. It's no coincidence. Leonardo has spent years dissecting human bodies, mapping muscles, bones, and tendons with near-surgical precision. Now, he applies that same knowledge to metal and mechanics, bringing motion to something lifeless. It is not just a drawing or an idea. Leonardo builds the real thing. Historians believe the knight makes its debut at a royal festival, designed to impress Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan. But this is no ordinary celebration. Milan stands on edge. War is closing in. Just months earlier, French armies invade Italy, a campaign Ludovico first welcomes, then turns against. He scrambles to secure his power, shifting alliances preparing for the battles ahead. He needs to show strength, innovation, superiority. So tonight, Leonardo gives him exactly that. By day, Leonardo paints the Last Supper for Ludovico's convent, capturing a single earth-shaking moment in time. By night, he builds a machine, a knight that moves without a man inside it. The court watches in awe as a lifeless machine moves like a living soldier. The visor lifts as if responding to the world around it. It is both a spectacle and a mystery, a glimpse of a world not yet invented. And then the real question emerges, why? What does Leonardo see when he imagines this mechanical knight? Some believe the knight is a simple entertainment piece, a dazzling display of engineering made to amaze and amuse. But Leonardo da Vinci isn't just a showman. He is a military engineer, designing weapons for the powerful rulers of Italy. And war is always on the horizon. Could this knight be more than just a festival trick? Could it be a prototype for something greater? Something that marches into battle, immune to fatigue and fear? Leonardo thinks ahead of his time. He's already designing tanks, giant crossbows, and even machine guns. It's easy to wonder, does he imagine an army of robotic soldiers advancing with perfect precision and discipline, fighting wars that humans no longer have to? His design never makes it to the battlefield, but that doesn't mean it fails. Centuries pass and the robotic knight seems to have disappeared into history, forever locked away in Leonardo's notebooks. But modern engineers find his sketches, and in the early 2000s they rebuild the knight, using the exact mechanical principles Leonardo imagined. And it works. The arms move, the head turns, the machine follows the design perfectly. Proving that Leonardo's concept isn't just theory, it is a fully functional robot, 500 years ahead of its time.